right, who is having a fit because he wants to go down to his pasture where he just eat, neat, 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 neat. So he's exercising. Um, all I can smell is sweaty horse. But we are brought to you by JBS Farm Soaps. And we're getting ready for the holiday season. And this one is called Frozen. And it's a pale clear blue with white swirls of snow, which is soap, inside. And the scent is called Frozen. And it's kind of a snow ozone, uh, spicy juniper, and a, a little bit of forest. It's not a real strong, overwhelming scent. Um, little girls would love it because of Frozen, the movie. Um, then I have my pine cone is back, and this year it's kind of a teal color um, with a little bit of snow on the edges. And this one is Fraser fur. Oh man, well, he's not gonna smell it. Besides that, he's. He wants out. But anyway, this is a fresh, clean, a balsam scent. It's not too strong and piney. And if you've ever smelled the Times version of Fraser Fur in like fancy shops, this is just like it. Oh God, I love it. Everybody who smells this loves it. Men, women, um, I wanna make a room of <laughs> wax tart. I already did, it's better wax tart milk because it makes it your house smell so good. Act natural. Now, the, uh, this will be... <laughs> That's not easy. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming out. Oh, thank you. Thank you Gosh, that. now, you guys are from the Big Island. From yep. the Big Island, yep. yep. And I almost got there to see you, and I have a girlfriend that has moved from this island to a Javi. Yes, oh, yes, yeah, right right yeah. Yeah. yeah, they just built a house here. and stuff. Oh, yeah. So. Hi, copyright. So you were in Winslow, Arizona, and... and and, and we went to uh, Grand Canyon, and we seen we went to a deer farm. It's all right. It's ate, good. It's good for me. I won't hurt me. We ate the deer. Um, we, we ate the deer. The deer. Right. There's deer everywhere. There it's was a deer, deer farm. Oh, the, the deer oh, ate my jacket. Oh, English deer. They just oh. eat the jacket up. It was a lot of fun. It was so fun. It was like 10 city. bucks, money well spent. Money well spent. Oh, God. You know, this has been a great vacation. Well, people will go in boats to some of the islands and they'll feed the deer potato chips. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible salty right. stuff. <laughs>
um, it's definitely worth it to go to um, fragrance.net. Three little ones I got. I really wanted to try, but I, I didn't know if I was going to love them or just be kind of um, repeat. I just got the little guys, and so I think they're like 1.5 milliliters or something, which is just a little squirt in my little droppers when I'm making soap. But I got Byredo, B-Y-R-E-D-O, Mojave Ghost. And I can't remember what it smelled like. I wasn't that impressed with it. I love Byredo's Inflorescence. Um, this one smells more generic perfume to me. It's nice. I think I would try, I wanted, there was another one, Pulp I wanted to try from Byredo. Then the next one is Hermes, oh, and this one I really like, so I would have got a bigger one. But let, again, it lasts for about two seconds. Hermes Eau de Rhubarb Eclart, and that's E-C-L-E-C-A-R-L-A-T-E, Eclart. Anyway, rhubarb. Okay, you can smell this one. Oh, it's sharp. It's uh, kind of lemony sharp, that kind of sharp. And I can smell the rhubarb. And since I raise, you know, what have I got? Like 100 plants of rhubarb and I sell oh, almost 500 pounds in the spring. I'm a rhubarb lover. And then the last one that I tried was Hermes Eau de Orange Verte, which is, you know, green orange. <laughs> I like the Atelier better. It's sharper. What are you doing? He's sweaty. He's in making mud. Yes, now you don't like the sweat running down your leg. What a silly. Well, he doesn't smell as good as these lovers. No, it's not to eat. Everything is to eat. With my Guerlain Gourmand Cocon. I got a little note from Perfume Court, and it says the Perfume Court is not affiliated with Guerlain. The contents are Elixir Charnel Gourmand Cocon EDP, independently, independently rebottled in Georgia. Here, by Perfume Court. So, and it, I so I got three. Stop it. So I got three milliliters. This is three milliliters because I. I was afraid I was really going to love it, and the bottle is like $270 or some stupid thing like that, so I was never going to do that, so that was probably like $30. All right, let's see what I have on my face. All right, so I have my Lorac Pro to go, and so on my cheeks, and for bronzer, I used their bronze, and then I combined the pink and the coral for my cheeks, and I do those kind of on the apple. This is that really cool palette that opens that way. And then if you open this side, stop it. If you open this side, you get eyeshadows and highlighter. Um, so that's on my cheek and bronzer. Uh, I'm just because they're little. I'm gonna give up pretty soon on my. Um, what is this? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes because it's just not as goopy as it used to be, and it still works. You know, you can still see it, but I think it's time to move along to another. Um, mascara. I am using up my Midi Mauve from MAC. As you can see, it's um, not really meant for videos because you can't see if I have lips, right? Mm, no lips. <laughs> He's got lips. Uh, in my uh, waterline, I use the Mushroom Urban Decay 24-7. I can't do it here because I don't have a mirror, but it's nice. It's it's like a kind of a grayish color. And, well, let's see. It's never going to come off. But uh, so it's not like I'm putting black underneath my eyes. Then, because I didn't want to afford forty-five dollars for Tom Ford's Pink Haze um, eye cream, I was wandering through Walgreens while well, husband was getting his flu shot, and I see. Uh, Maybelline's Color Tattoo 24 Hour Metal, and it was named Inked in Pink. So look at that. Look at that, huh? No, you're not going to come out, and you're going to be mad at me. Um, I'm sure it's a little different color. I know his is um, metallic, too, but there it is next to the mushroom pencil. So I put it on my lids up the crease a little and bit. And then I went ahead and used my L'Oreal... Uh, Kind of, uh, I use my L'Oreal liner that I'm trying to use up that's on a felt tip that's liquid. 
and I thought, oh, I want to do more than that. I haven't used this in a while, so let's go pink. So, I used Strange, which is this guy, on the high points. I used Burnout, which was um, as matte a pink as I could find in here, um, on the lid right over this pink. Let's do that. Put it next to it so you can see. It's lighter, so it's on this side. It's lighter than the uh, inked in pink. Then, for the uh, transition, what did I use? Did I use, I think I used Nooner, which is this guy right here. So that's there, you kind of see I'm progressing. And then I wanted a little punch, but I didn't want to go black, so I used Factory, which is this guy. And I'm gonna close it so it doesn't fall apart. I used that just along the lash line, outer corner, kind of there, and then underneath the whole, I don't even know it's there, because this was, this was this morning that I did it. So there it is. Who knows how much weepiness I've had by now. So thank you so much for supporting JBS Farm. That keeps me here. Um, you guys are wonderful. These they make nice gifts. Like this is like eight dollars because it's a big, it's a big honk on soap, and it's hard to get out of the mold. Um, and this guy is probably six dollars because most of my soaps are six. And um, gosh, I can just smell them. This is my favorite. So, Mr. Copyright, who wants out? desperately because there's more grass in that pasture down there but I don't want him to get sick if he eats too much grass he would get something called laminitis or founder and um, his, his background has had it and I've you know had to, they don't live very long with it so I'm being very careful of him even though he's mad at me love hurts so until next time I'll see you later bye bye